popular stops at the Minnesota State Fair. Of course, we're talking about the DNR Fish Pond. Perfect spot to stop taking all the different kinds of fish you can find in the land of 10,000 lakes. Mm -hmm. So what's the story behind the pond? We wanted to check in with our new fish expert, Pauline Lee. <laughs> you join us now to tell us more. Pauline, good fish morning. Fish expert. She's okay. kissing fish. Okay. Okay. I like She's that. Fish expert. Okay. You know what? I did kiss a fish this year, and then I almost kissed a sturgeon way back when in my career. I opted not to do that one, but that's a story for another time. But yes, a stop at the fish pond is a must if you come to the state fair. We have Genevieve here, who is with the St. Paul Hatchery, uh, Fish Hatchery. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. All right. Okay. So you are the ones who are responsible for getting the fish in and out of this pond. That's a big draw mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. By the way, before we get to that, I do have to say congratulations to DNR Building yes. on a significant year this year. Tell me about that. Yes. So so today yeah. is the uh, DNR building's 89th birthday. Oh my gosh, this, 89 years. Yes, it actually today, so it was open September 1st, 1934. Wow. Oh, it cost us $73,000 to build oh in that God. year. Yeah. Which was 10 times more than the entire profit of the state fair that no same way. year. No yes. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So neat to think about how it's been such a staple here at the fair Absolutely. for so many years. And this pond as well. So let's get to this mm -hmm. pond. This is always a big draw. You have tons of fish in here. What are some of the highlights? Yes, we got a lot of fish. Perfect timing right in front of us coming yeah. across Ooh. the uh, the wall are two sturgeon. There you go, sturgeon. Um, so these are lake sturgeon. Mm -hmm. Lake sturgeon are our biggest species of fish in Minnesota. Yeah. Also our oldest lived. I see the ones with the flat noses. Those are always interesting yep. too. Yep. So that's actually a paddlefish. We've got that one swimming towards another one coming Ooh. at it too. Actually, um, and a lot of people think that that's a nose, but it's actually not. So it's not really? for smelling or eating. It's filled with specialized cells huh. that help it sense its favorite food, oh plankton, gosh. in the water. Huh. Who knew? So you have fish pond talks every day. Yes. It draws a lot of people, but mm -hmm. this is a great place. If you come to the DNR building, I mean, it's a great place to kind of dip your toes into nature, if you will. Yes, absolutely. So um, you know, I'm, of course, biased, but the fish are my <laughs> favorite part. Yes. But there are so many other things to do at the DNR building. Mm -hmm. We've got, you know, wildlife here doing a lot of really cool things. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got, you know, Parks and Trails Center, which is just right next to the pond where you can talk to a naturalist, pick up some Parks and Trails swag. Ooh. Um, we have, you know, basically every single division of the DNR represented yeah. here with you know, some employee on any at any yeah. given moment. So if you have a question, if you have a story, we want to hear from you. All right, so much to, de to do and to see, and we have more coming up at the bottom of the hour, guys. Yeah, I mean, they have some big snakes in, that yes, in our say, building yeah. this year. They, they just took me by a little bit by surprise yeah. when my kids and I were walking in there. But yeah, there's so much. It's such a cool building. If you have not explored that. That's one to check yeah. out. 89 years. All, All right. right, Pauline, thanks.